Hey y'all, this is Urs, and welcome back to XCOM. Last time we were here, we got two missions to deal with. Um, I've been thinking a little bit about how to deal with this particular mission, how to kit out the folks going along. Remember, we do have seven slots to bring out this mission. This is only a scout, so it's not going to be that scary of a loadout, I think, from the aliens. I'm probably going to save my sniper for the terror mission. A bigger gun that can do a little more damage will likely be very handy there, so I will leave her for that. For now, though, I'm probably going to take a squad into here, uh, consisting of a decent spread of units. I don't need to bring everyone. I want to keep the, the better ones available for the terror mission. Gunner, scout, uh, let's get a medic. Let's get Sudomo in there. Um, actually, let's get Marcelo in there. Let's get Marcelo to do something fun. Marcel, vamos. Uh, we should get an engineer in there. Let's get Jordan in there. Uh, we're probably going to use an assault. Uh, let's see, we need someone with some decent health. We can do Bogdanov, he's pretty badass. Five defense and six health. Yeah, let's do him. We got room for two more. We can take two, uh, two rookies with us, God help us. Um, but we do have a medic, a gunner, a scout, an engineer, and assault. So we have pretty good spread. We have the boom boom from the engineer, we have the shoot in the face from the assault, we have the healing from the medic, we have suppression from the gunner, and a scout to break overwatch. That's a pretty good spread. I mean, would I rather have an infantry and a sniper on here? Yeah, probably. Uh, but given that that's not exactly an option right now, uh, yeah, that's not an option right now. So we could probably take ourselves uh, one more of these folks with one, two, three, four, five active, six active members still. Um, Six active members still, yeah, to possibly take on the other mission, but that'd be we're taking two assaults. That'd be insane. And that'd be the seventh. Yeah, I'll have to figure this out. I probably need to spread the infantry out. So let's actually think about the next mission while we're kidding out for this one, right? You need a scout, gunner, engineer, medic, assault. That's kind of a given. All these are going on the mission. So that's five slots. My sixth slot will be a sniper. My seventh slot likely will be an infantry. I may force myself to take a take bubbles along just for the big boom boom for the uh, what are those things chrysalids yes the things that murder you up close so I may just take another assault on this mission just to have something else blowing crap up in the face I think that might be cool go double assault time hey what the hell right we're low on folks anyway let's bring our Greek Katsouris on the way and I guess we're gonna take ourselves a rookie so rookie Friend, you're my only friend. All right, ah, uh, rookies, 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 rookies with s decent survivability. Let's take Samir, um, not because he has the best aim, but because he has four hit points baseline. And I think that may just be important for survivability. All right, uh, leaving you with the gun there of the shotting. There you go, carbine. No sir, you get upgraded to laser rifle. That's a one freaking lucky rookie. First mission, laser rifle. Bam. He may not suck completely. Let's see, 71 aim. I, <laughs> I've had worse. I'll load out the grenade kidding later here, buddy. Why don't you take your laser rifle? I'm probably not gonna, um, since this is an assault mission, a UFO assault mission, I'm probably not gonna bring this guy with a marksman's rifle. I think he'll be more useful as just with a decent gun, honestly. Uh, gunner, now this time I will not forget, I promise. <laughs> laser, auto laser, thank you, saw. Uh, medic, uh, let's get you a rifle and... NG, let's get you a rifle. So we got laser rifles going all the way around here. And let's now kit out properly. Uh, AP and a flashbang, that'll kind of work. And our medic, Marcelo could be pretty good like this. Uh, we don't need another, this guy, that's right, he, he just got promoted. You got promoted. All right, there you go. Nice, double bang bang for the engineer. Like that, scout with an HE, that's pretty good. So it is, you definitely do not need what you've currently got. Um, maybe another flashbang wouldn't be bad, honestly. Flashbang, the other guy had an a AP. Let's see. You have 5 plus 2, and Bogdanov has 6 plus 2. Let's see. He has boom boom and flashbang. You have boom boom and flashbang. Maybe I should give... Yeah, we're going to use a lot of explosives and very liberally here. Uh, just BT dubs, there's going to be a lot of kill in here. Um... Because we just want to get through this mission. We don't want to take any casualties. Get those alloys and go home. That's really kind of the plan, I think. So we will be kidding out with that in mind. Uh, her, 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 her. Yeah, the question is basically, do I want to keep the medic with an AP or do I want to give him a HEH to blow up cover? I do have triple HE. I have quadruple AP. You know, this is fine. Let's launch this mission, deal with this crap, and go home. We have 
Begin the assault. So this is a landing, obviously, so they will be a lot of active groups. Here's hoping we don't have any mutons. We may, though. Yeah. We will clear them hostiles, Bradford. We will clear them good. I'm gonna make you bleed, boy. Alright. Sorry, that was creepy. Now, let's see where the hell we ended up on this mission. Oh, in wide open terrain. That's not... That's nary good. Okay, that's the edge of the map. So where is the UFO position? That's my question, first and foremost. Um, I, I think he, he landed probably around this way. This is probably where the UFO is, if I'm not entirely certain. We pretty much all the way to the eastern edge. Okay, we're in the eastern edge. Um, I guess as far as I'm looking, this is north, officially. Uh, I'm going to get into high cover while I can, I think. That's the most important, most valuable service I can render to my squad before we move on to this mission. Don't really care about meld. I actually have a pretty decent collection of meld, honestly. So I'm not altogether too concerned about that. Uh, let's just keep everyone... Uh, there's not too much cover here. I want to make sure that people who do need cover can get there and, and duck, duck down. So let's get the rookie out in the middle of nowhere and see what happens. Hey, some air. Good, nothing. Nothing for now. That's good. I like that. <laughs> I don't like seeing things shooting me in the face. I much like it better when they're all hiding from me. Uh, this is potentially flankable from that side. Let's just move up here and see. Nothing visible. Good. I'm kind of happy about that, at least for the first move. If this keeps happening, I'll be worried that I'm going to get all of them in a giant pile of death, but for now, I'm kind of okay. I'm only keeping these in cover because they're the edge of the movement anyway. Um, I'm not particularly worried about spawning a group yet. Yet. Oh, come there, good. Timmermans? Can you go up here and not get murdered? Like a good boy? Excellent. Okay. Probably safe to move up. Uh, let's bring you to full cover just in cases. Because I do want a uh, assault up front should the need arise. And Alan, what with the big auto laser, bring you up here. Yeah, we're going to be doing this step by step. This is not exactly a prime squad. It's got no infantry on on, uh, on readiness, so we need to make sure we do this properly. Okay, here floaters. That's pretty much all I heard was floaters. Uh, okay, floaters I can deal with. I think even with this squad I can deal with that pretty easily. Um, I'm going to try to keep my medic a little bit in the back line. Let's see what we can do. What do we see here? Jordan Matthews. Um, well, let's see if Lucas sees anything. How about that? Okay. Nothing. And this is good. Now we can actually get a bit of a fan formation going here, so we can make sure we can cover our angles, um, as the case may be. So if something comes from this direction or that direction, I should be covered in a nice little arc. So that way, we will not die horribly. The last thing we want to do is get flanked by 90 degrees, and this way we can kind of cover ourselves from prevent that from happening. Zapalnyayo, the Vai, Alexander. Another, we have like a bunch of Russian-speaking assaults. It's really kind of funny. They're all just, they took a level in badass, basically. They're just like, all right, where's these aliens at? We gonna kill them. Uh, they also went hick, apparently. I apologize for that stereotyping of the Russian. I'm not sure why he went south, like, southern America. <laughs> Rebel yell, baby! Um, Marcelo can go up there. Timmermans can go up here. Why am I singing? I don't know. Uh, that's fine. Let's bring Marcelo. I'm not gonna put him all the way up here, because I guarantee you I'm gonna spawn a freaking group, so why don't we just put him here? And go on Overwatch, so we can go deploy in safe places after that. Yes, this will be meticulous. Yep, there's a group. I do. Okay, I heard mostly floaters, but there's a big kind of <clears throat> at the beginning. Either that was an audio artifact, or there's something uglier here uh, than those floaters. So I'm going to put Alan up here, because he does have the suppression, and I would like to have that available from high ground, should the need uh, present itself. Okay, I gotta say, Lucas has some really good movement. I'm really liking that on this new assault we just got, uh, just got hired effectively. I guess promoted would be the term. Davai. 
So we have a lot of good assaults with decent movement, so we probably be able to get decent flanking shots on those floaters, especially if they decide to go and do the whole jetpacking thing, we'll actually be able to deal with them relatively easily. Uh, I do want Jordan up in the front with all the explosives, because if something comes out here, he'll actually be able to implement them to good use. Uh, let's get a rookie up there. Let's get... Who are we waiting for? Timmermans, our scout, our ever-vigilant scout. Let's put him here for now, and then he should probably be able to... Actually, let's put him here for now. That way, he can kind of get to this cover next. That's kind of what I was looking to see. Good. Um, let's bring our medic back here, just because he'll be needed to cover everyone effectively. And let's go on Overwatch. Oh, let's see if that pack is going to come around. There we go. Got a couple. I see two so far. And two misses. That's, eh, you know, not unexpected. We don't exactly have the most hawk-eyed units here. One, two... Okay, still just two? Really? It's a small pack. Um, I mean, it's gonna keep being that size if we don't hit a damn thing. Yeah, you did. Someone else mind taking a swing at this? Someone actually hit it, please? Woo! That's four misses! We're getting better, folks! We getting better! Um, okay. Well, bloody marvelous. Well, our rookie here can go take cover, so that's nice. And we're all basically covered from this side, except for our assaults, which are unfortunately in the exact opposite side of the map that we need them to be. So hey, there you go. Let's bring Rookie to full cover uh, while he's here. So we do see to only have two floaters in that pack. That Rookie's not going to be able to hit a damn thing. Jordan Matthews, you have a good arm. I'm going to use uh, explosives liberally here. There is no need for me to uh, keep them in one place. Actually, let's see. Our Gunner. You should have vision on both. You do. So I think I'm going to suppress the back one and uh, murder the front one. I think that's my plan. So, to, <laughs> to continue with the murdering, uh, let's see. Can you break this cover, actually? Oh, nice. You can break this cover. Uh, but <sighs> without Sapper, I don't think he actually can break a full tree. So why don't we take HE, take an HE up in this, up in this hizzy, so to speak. Knock this tree down a couple pegs. Um, maybe do some damage to that cover and screw up that guy's life a little bit. All right, this is fine. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll be able to do some damage. Can you not throw here? Come on. Come on. I know you can do it. There we go. Grenade out. Grenade out indeed. Boom. Yep, there goes the tree. That's kind of what I wanted to see. Um, he doesn't have full cover. Oh, he still has full cover? Son of a pus monkey. All right, well, we'll have to suppress one of these poor bastards. Uh, how about you, Timmermans? 41% is not awful. Um, I should probably suppress... Hmm. I guess Gasotis can kind of come up here. Yeah, I think this would be fine. Can I see where he's relative to everything else? Okay, good. So yeah, he's pretty far away. I think here will be fine. If he hunkers from here, he'll be able to get some decent uh, swings at those folks should they come arise. I need to make sure my medic is actually in cover, uh, lest he get myrtleized. So that is the technical term. All right, I'm really sad the rookie doesn't have crap to hit with. Uh, I think I'm going to move my other assault pretty much the same way. Kind of bring him up in this direction. Uh, get him to the place where he can actually be in cover from that shot and also be ready to move forward. I think the best place for that is actually here. Bug okay. down up there. I'm going to squat both my uh, assaults down here. It's probably safer. All right. So we'll suppress. We will uh, put our medic on overwatch once those things do move forward. They likely will. Hey, you actually got a swing. Nice. 28. 28 is not good. I'm probably going to take a swing with Timmermans. Um, he does not have hollow target. Should I, that's the question. Should I suppress the front one? Let's suppress the front one. This may be smarter, honestly. Suppress him. That tree will likely burn down. Uh, and that way, it'll give Timmermans a decent chance to hit this thing. 38 is not great. Um, 51. That's not bad. That is a coin flip. Maybe we can get, get this nice swing here. Come on. Nope. Okay. Didn't happen. 36. Have I seen worse aim possibilities? Yeah, but this guy's not moving anywhere, so I think taking the swing... I mean, we could get lucky. We could get lucky. Oh, never mind. All right, let's keep Vasconcelos on Overwatch, then, in case something moves forward. That's about the best we're going to get. That back, uh, back guy's going to come. He's going to try to ping up my uh, gunner. That's fine. Likely to miss, and he did. All right, he went on Overwatch. Okay, we need to take that Overwatch down. We can do that by suppression. Or we can move with our scout to get a better shot. Uh, I'm kind of in favor of this, mainly because it's better. Uh, I would rather have my uh, 
assaults up there, but I do fear that will actually run through the uh, Overwatch firing line. So let's... <laughs> you've been hired again, Timmermans. Run! Yep, lightning reflexes. I should miss. Thank you. Good. And you don't... still 47%. I really want to not use more grenades on this, but this is getting really frustrating. I really want to knock these guys down a couple pegs. And for that, I need my assaults. How much run-and-gun space you... Oh, wow, you have huge run-and-gun capability. That's pretty cool. I can get an easy flank on this guy. And then uh, a tree's not technically on fire, so it shouldn't collapse. I think. Uh, that should be okay, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go here, take a shot at that bear bastard. Um, this may be a little aggressive. I'm not sure what's back there. I really hope it doesn't spawn another group. Fingers crossed! But, um, hey, this is what, this is the moment assaults live for. Because this way we can suppress the other guy from shooting this assault and uh, not have too much of a worry. Run and gun. Uh, yeah, he has huge movement, so this is going to be an easy kill. Alright, didn't spawn anything else. Nice. This should be a kill. Good night! Konyed's <laughs> lunaticum. Yep, that is true. It is the end for the lunatic. Um, we could run and gun here, honestly, and get a kill from this side. Again, that's a little worrying, so I'm not sure what's there. I know there's nothing here now. It's pretty safe. Uh, yeah, I would like to really play, like, fast and loose with this, but I, I kind of don't want to. I kind of don't want to, man! Um, damn. Well, let's get Rookie up here. Maybe Rookie can take a ping at this guy. I mean, it is unlikely. Oh, he can't. Fabulous. Allow me to subscribe to your newsletter. Alright, you know what? Let's just suppress this poor bastard. Uh, he's not going to go anywhere that way. And the safest bet would be to swing an assault over on the uh, right side. So I think that's probably going to be still my, my angle of approach. Let's bring the assault back here. Then he'll actually be able to get over here easily. And that will minimize the risk of spawning anything untoward. Alright, cool. Just in case he moves. Uh, shotgun on target is a shotgun indeed. Come on up there. Hey, you got a ping. Maybe we could ping him. 38%. Why not? The medic hasn't done anything yet. Nope. That's fine. I'm um, not altogether too worried here. Let's get uh, this guy to reload. Let's get our scout to reload. Again, I'm not worried about this half cover because we are suppressing the poor bastard. Uh, the dirt bag. 37%. Even with the uh, suppression hollow targeting bonus, yeah? Well, it could be worse. No, let's just take that shot. I mean, you know, might as well. We only have one extra opponent here. Might get lucky. Nope! Yeah, I've been kind of missing all the low percentage shots, but that's more or less expected. Okay, he should... He may desperately move. No, he hunkered. Okay, so this is pretty much just game over for him. We have a shotgun aimed at his face, and this is... His hunker is not gonna save him. Um, you, sir... Should we get, should we get Kassaurus this kill? Let's get Kassaurus this kill. Um, run and gun, you know, always good. Let's get our new assault a nice, put him back up on the tally, so to speak. And lock him down. Good night. Sweet! Okay, cool. First group dealt with, uh, no problem whatsoever. That was a relatively small group of only two floaters. They did get some good cover on us, but uh, they couldn't really convert into any kills, so yay. We're going to refit, reload, reset, and uh, see what else is this mission is going to throw at us. I don't want to salt the uh, UFO quite yet. Um, I was running a bit of a risk getting around here with my assaults, but luckily uh, nothing came out of there. Not sure where the next groups are. We know there's a melt container somewhere in there. That's not really a surprise. Uh, usually is one in the UFO at some, in some part of it, um, but again, not a priority for this mission. I don't exactly have a prime team for this. If we can get one, great. If not, don't particularly care. I'm just going to pull it back here and reload. I would go here for vision, but again, I don't want to risk spawning something from the UFO if I'm not ready. Let's just put you back here. Reload. Let's go sail over. Reload. Um, put you on Overwatch. At least have one person on Overwatch. Matthews definitely needs to reload. Like, whoa. Uh, Jordan, why don't you come here just in case something does suddenly go active. There we go. Reload, sir. And our rookie. Oh, rookie, rookie. Oh, rookie. Is a okay. Sorry. Sorry. I keep doing that. Overwatch. Maybe you'll get a shot off something. All right. Where is it? And what is it? 
Yeah, what is that snort? I... I want to say that's a muton, but I don't think that's actually a muton. That <laughs> noise. It's not a mechtoid, I don't think, because that would be more mechanical stompy stompy. So, I'm not sure what the hell that is, actually. I, that, I am a little concerned about that, because... I'm worried that's a Berserker, but it'd be way, way, way too early for Berserkers. That would just be insane, I think. Uh, I'd have Berserkers this early without seeing Mutons, so... Okay. Nothing. I do kind of want to sweep around here first before we go for the UFO. Just make sure there's no stray packs around. Uh, clearing the map is probably a better idea than, than running in and drawing everything to us. Especially with this crew. Though we do have a lot of explosives. We are packing quite a punch, if need be, so it's not the worst okay. thing. All right, Jordan, good. Um, Arthur Timmermans, okay. Not much. I do want to keep my assaults at the front. Ah, this shouldn't spawn anything, but I'm. Yeah, please don't. Okay, good. So we have vision now on that top spot. This is fine. Yeah, I'm probably gonna start sweeping west, or, or at least my west, I guess, this direction. Let's see what the hell else is out there. Um, hmm. Gotta think about this. Oh, hold on. One second. Oh, we are back. Hey, all my little sidetrack there. Sorry. Uh, real life does get in the way sometimes. But anyway, we're back. Uh, nothing much happened. <laughs> I have not moved. I'm going to put everyone on Overwatch, and we're going to see what happens. Yeah, we are doing this very gently, like I said. Okay. Okay, whatever's angry is in there. I'm 90% certain that's a muton. I do hear mutons, I think. That roo, 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 roo. Definitely muton sounds. Uh, not good sounds. I don't like muton sounds. Muton sounds scare me because they're freaking mutons, dude. Mutons, bro. Um, again, this is not where I want to be because if there's a muton pack inside the UFO and it spawns along with the outsider, we may well take some casualties. I'm not too keen on that actually happening. If I do just spawn the muton pack, I'll probably pull back so it lead them out of the UFO. That way there's a higher chance of me not dying horribly with plasma to the face. But I'm going to sweep around. It may be, actually, the pack may be back here. If I can lure it out in some way uh, from the other side. Because obviously not on the sides. If it is next to the outsider, we may have a problem. Uh, so that's kind of the approach I'm taking on this mission. Uh, now that you understand exactly what I'm doing, let's do what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, we're just going to keep sweeping west. Like I said, we're going to go across this river spot so we can get into the high cover uh, with the next move, probably. And then see what else we can do. So far, not too much. Uh, active and deadly on this mission. I'm relatively happy about that. Where is our med? There's our medic. Let's bring him out here. Assuming he doesn't see anything. Are you good? Are you good? Nothing? Alright, cool. Let's keep this open. See. Oh, uh, there's another floater pack out there. Okay. We just heard floaters, so that's good that we didn't go after the, uh, the UFO quite yet. Uh, we're, we have, uh, we don't really have our backs to the wall very much right now. I'm worried that the floater pack is somewhat out here. And we're gonna, oh no, that's the end of the map. Never mind. Okay, good. So, it's unlikely the floater pack is hiding back here. It's possible, yes, possible, but unlikely. So, I'm gonna take the safer out here with all my guys. Sweep around this way. Okay, good. Yeah, let's sweep around this way, guys, so we don't spawn up those floaters and see where the hell they're sitting. And again, nothing is active, so we can leave our guys out in the open on Overwatch. We'll get probably get free shots on whatever the hell comes around. Uh, since we're not going for meld, I don't particularly care. If I was, I'd probably bum rush the uh, the UFO. See if I can get the meld out of there. But right now, like I said, not a priority. A we're trying to keep these guys alive rather than dead. You know, that's generally a good way to keep your troops. Oh, uh, you, sir. Yes. Yeah, these little UFO missions, like... They're deceptive because you think, oh, it's a little UFO, it's fine, no one's gonna happen. And it rarely does, sometimes it's like a really easy set, but sometimes you just end up spawning a pack of like... Uh, what was that for? Okay, so floaters are inside the UFO now, they weren't there before. It may be a combined floater muton pack, that's possible. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna take this nice and careful like. Make sure we don't get murdered, okay, we're okay there. So now I'm going to start swinging this way. I'm going to sweep around the UFO. Maybe not activate everything at once. At least we'll keep ourselves to full cover. Because this is a terrible position to be in. Because you can't really get at the UFO. So it's probably better to attack from this side, honestly. So if we do decide to bum rush it, we'll be in a better position. Our, our angles will be better, effectively. 
And I'm still thinking. I'm, I'm thinking there's going to be a pack in the because this is a landing, not a crash site. So probably going to be a f uh, patrol pack around. My guess is those are going to be floaters. There's probably a pack inside the UFO, uh, which is mutons, and then likely the outsiders. Probably about four packs worth on this small UFO that landed rather than crashed. So I think that's correct. Um, I'm going to go with that assumption, and like I said, be careful about the UFO itself, about the interior before we breach that. Yep, there we go. I was right. It is a floater pack. Okay, we got one hit. There's a third one back there I just saw. Okay. So that one went on Overwatch, which will behoove us to break it with our scout. I think here would behoove us well. Make sure we're good to kill here. Make sure that Overwatch... Oh, the Overwatch did not go off. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, all right. This is okay. Th this is relatively okay because we have a lot of floaters just kind of out in the open. Though he's... Oh, yes, he's flying, so he does have that bonus. Damn, I thought they were just sitting there. Okay, so we got to get behind cover and make this, make this happen. I'm not a fan of that one guy not uh, activating his Overwatch. What? How much shots do we have? How much? How I shot Web? So he's 56 percent chance to kill or kill or kill. So basically, we can kill everything more or less. I think that would be wise to knock him out of Overwatch if we can get the swing. Come on, rookie, rookie! Jesus Christ, he's not a rookie. This is Timmermans, our scout. Come on, Timmermans! Son of a bitch! All right. Apparently, pep talk's not his thing. Uh, okay. So now we gotta figure out how the hell we're gonna position ourselves, because this is not great. I do want full cover or hunkering on most people. I'll probably hunker with the assaults, given that their job is gonna be to run in and murder stuff later. Um, okay, that's fine. He likely will not get flanked. No, he shouldn't. Um, yeah, let's get our assaults hunkered in good places, happy, happy places, happy thoughts. And then we'll move forward. How about that? I think that's a good plan. Um, I may need to do something over here, so I'm bringing one assault this way and hunker. Yeah, you, you really don't have an armor on this. Not a good shot. I wonder if I can ping him with a pistol from here. Five percent. Yeah, okay. Whatever, bro. Okay, bro. That sounds fine. Yeah, big boy. Okay, that what? That's not cover? Seriously now? How is this not cover? There's, there's a tree right there, man. All right, um, I don't want to put my rookie in the front because he's likely going to trigger that overwatch. Yeah, I'm really sad that my uh, scout did not trigger that. I want to make sure I have suppression down on something. Um, suppression behind full cover is better. That's a hella piss that's actually not full cover. Uh, all right, but we can do this. How about, yeah, uh, we can probably do this. So let's do, yep, yeah, that's fine. So you have, but you have no vision from here. So that's awful, actually. It's not fine. That's freaking terrible. So why don't we bring you here? You have vision on something from here. Okay, two shots. Matthews, who has the better aim? I probably nah. Well, the only guy who can get full cover and shoot is Marcelo. So let's bring Marcelo up. What? Oh come on! That's half covered. It's directly in your line of sight, buddy. Give me a freaking break! All right, we're bring it. Bring Tanwar back here. Oh, uh, that's obviously a little out of range. We'll put him on Overwatch. Bogdanov is gonna hunker. Katsouris is gonna hunker, and then we're gonna suppress and then fire. And oh no, we don't can't do anything. Great. Uh, how good is your arm? If we can AP this, I might as well AP. I think I'm, I'm gonna honestly AP this. Go here. Moving. Let's AP this shit. Oh, that's just out of range of AP. Are you serious right now, son of a monkey? All right, I guess you're hunkering. I really wished we actually got a contact on something. Well, you're overwatching. And you are going to suppress something, friend. Probably want to suppress... He's probably going to run away. Hmm. <sighs> Let's suppress the big guy. Because he's probably the boss. I mean, with that extra HP, he's obviously the boss. So, he's probably the most dangerous of the bunch. Okay, I'm getting suppressed. That's fine. Okay, so now we have the option. Oh wait, this is he's I'm being suppressed. That's a shame because I wanted to use him to break the Overwatch. Okay, so we could. Oh, we don't want to run and gun from here. Crap balls. Well, we can break the Overwatch. I'm not too worried about the suppression. I'm more worried about the Overwatch. Uh, all right, 
So let's have you suppress the guy who's overwatching. This will prevent him from firing. Oh, really? He has covering fire. Oh, okay, so it's definitely annoying for that. We need to get we need to get that guy down a sap, like really, really fast. Um, how close are we to heing him or aping him? Relatively close, actually. I could probably get at him from here, so we don't activate everything inside the UFO. Fine. Okay, this is good. Probably be able to get that guy and knock this guy down a couple pegs. We should get one kill and then one decent set of damage. This is probably a good mix of the two. He does have uh, Sapper. His grenades do extra damage. Yep. It's three damage. Nice. It's kind of what I was going for. It's kind of exactly what I was going for, actually. Um, so he's no longer overwatching. So we can move either Marcelo or a rookie. Who's got better aim at this point, really? 67 versus... What do you have? Effective aim. 65? Really? That's it? I'm not even certain he had more than that. I think it doesn't count the laser rifle bonuses. Either way, if it doesn't count laser rifle bonuses, our medic is obviously the one who can shoot better still. So we should probably put him here. Though we can probably get both into a firing position, can we? Yeah, we get both into a firing solution. This is good. So, rookie. I mean, worst comes to worst, we can just HE that guy and then knock him down. Probably a good idea, honestly, at this point. Alright, I like this. We have a couple shots available. Um, hmm. I think this... Yeah, that's not so good. We don't have the, uh, the capacity to kill him, so why don't we just take a swing. 51 is not bad. Come on, man. Make me proud. That is a coin flip. You should hit that. Oh, I wanted to hit that. All right. Call it a draw. Marcelo. Por favor. Ah. Bang. Muito obrigado, amigo. Some bitch. Finally got somebody. All right. You reload. We need you for later. Bogdanov, you come up here and get ready to knock that guy down. If he Not with a pistol. If that thing comes close range, I want to make sure I have a shotgun available for his face. All right. And Katsouris. Yeah. I would assault this stuff, but again, I'm worried about them running into the UFO, so... You are just going to come here and hunker, I suppose. Just to get a better angle on that poor bastard. And we'll go from there. See what he's gonna do. He's probably gonna run. Like the fiend he is. He did pull back. Okay. <sighs> well, it looks like the aliens are playing hide the big green zucchini. The big green zucchini being the plasma rifle. Um, I'm not going after him into the UFO. We'll have to take this nice and careful around here to see if we can bait him out. But that is going to be a task save best for next time. Thank you so much for joining for this XCOM episode. We will move forward in this UFO assault mission with this squad who is woefully unprepared but willing. Ugh, something like that. And we'll take on the terror mission. God help us all. So thank you so much for tuning in for XCOM. I know it's been a while since I posted one of these, so... Hell yeah, it's time again. There were some hardware issues. We got that resolved. We can now watch again. All right, thank you so much. I've been Urs. Thank you for your viewership and subscribership. I will see you next time. Till then.